Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the morning. Beautiful Laura Styles, Rosenberg, Kodak Black in the building. Give it up one time. Yeah. First time. Yo, man. Um, first of all, I got to be honest. I was skeptical. Um, on doing this interview, I saw your other interviews where he's wearing like a ski mask and all that, and I was like, ah, I'm not really interested in talking to this. But um, I gotta say, I looked at your rap sheet, I looked at your weed charges, smoking weed in front of your kid on the gram, and different things you've been going through. Um, and I know it's sensitive, but how you feel about everything that's going on? I got big wings, so not talking about the devil be on my heels, but I got big wings. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's, it's a lot of stuff. It's like it's. It did seem like that you became a target at some point. And listen, I've been in and out since a baby. Really? I'm, yeah. How old were you the first time? Fourteen. Yeah. When you look at all the stuff that you got on your rap sheet, right? Everything that you've been charged with. How much do you take accountability for? Um, how much was it your circumstances, right? Because a lot of things happen with people where they come from. I mean, shit. When you look at me, you won't even uh, like. Think, cause I be walking around smiling like, fuck you. I see you laughing a lot. Always, you that, laugh that's kind of the view we always see is smiling right. and laughing. Yeah, so you know, ain't nothing worse than death. You know what I'm talking about? And I can already accept that. So it's like whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you were you around a lot of death growing up as well? Death right around the corner. You know, prison my next door neighbor. <laughs> hey, you got used to it. It is what it is. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Broward County, Florida. In Florida. Hey. And you're Haitian too. So hey. I passe and all that. Hey. I love that. I love that you embrace your Haitian heritage like that too. Right. Do you feel like where you're headed now, like you got more control over your life? And you know, you're making a lot of money, making a lot of decisions for yourself. God in control. I'm just sitting back. I'm I'm laid back in the Maybach. In and the Maybach. <laughs> yeah, literally. And you're uh you went out to LA, right? And now spend all the time most of your time out there working? Yeah. yeah. How do you like the LA life? Shit, you know, it's a different time zone, so I'm in a different mind zone. Mm -hmm. Like different atmosphere. Did, better. did uh how long was the build for you? Because I remember like two or three years ago, it, it felt like when your name popped up, it felt like when you hit the mainstream, it happened very quick. And you became a star sort of overnight. Um, and then there was the controversy and all these different things. But how long was the actual build for you musically that you were working on? I mean, like, I've been famous since elementary school, so I don't care about it. That's why I walk around like, so what? You feel me? How were you famous in elementary school? What I just been like my like my whole family like like running streets. You feel me? So I was been popping since legit. You feel me? So like, it don't matter. So you were used to it when the time came when the music started yeah. hitting. Yeah. And when did you start making music? I mean, I would, I would, I would mess around early and stuff, but uh, like 2015, one time I had came on 2015, and I just, I just blowed up. Like, I just came home and just blowed up. Yeah. 2014 was um, Bodak Yellow was based on that. Um, what was the name of the song? Um, no flocking. No flocking. No that flocking. was the joint. Yeah. 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 That was the blow up. Yeah. So that was just something you just put on SoundCloud. Or how did it I work? was just messing around cause like no flocking. When I made that, uh -huh. this this tutu right now, go get go get go get him. So uh, when I made that, it's something like in Florida called flocker, right? Like a lot of people were smoking flocker, like what, a type of weed. Man, nah, flocker, like man, like, like sherm or something. Is man, it like listen, a... like crackheads putting down a pipe for flocker, oh, like got it. okay, yeah. like bath okay. salts or something. Yeah, so about. like a lot of my homeboys was smoking it in a like. My uncle started smoking and stuff like that, and it was like I was just clowning them. Right, like, right. really like like I really don't like that song that, though. Oh really? Yeah, I was just really saying anything. I was just clowning them like no flocking. You feel me? But and next thing you know, it's something it you're not taking up. serious. It blew up. Yeah. And I always got to perform that song. <laughs> but now when <laughs> Bodak Yellow blew up, because that's what two, three years later. Yeah. Bodak Yellow blew up three years later, and you own parts of that record too, right? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were Grammy nominated, right? Of course. Your name was on it. Was yeah. that that must be interesting too? Like that's a pretty unique experience to have a recent record that it's named essentially the record's named after you, right? Yeah. And yet it's become it was number one on Billboard. She's become the biggest pop star yeah. in the world, yeah. and her call to the number one calling card she has yeah. 
is your is uh, is your his flow. It was his flow, really. And, and called Bodak. Yeah, and called Bodak. Yeah, Bodak yellow, Kodak black, Bodak orange. That's dope. Now, did Cardi reach out to you when she was putting the record together? Ah, she ain't me chat, but I I rock with her. That's twin B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my twin. That's B. So yeah. she creates Bodak yellow. So that uh -huh. happens, and then you see that blow up. E. And but, then, and then, how does it work? Because you, did you have a relationship with her at that time, or she was just a fan nah, of yours? she was on the come up too, right? I don't know, but I know I get me me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Where did you get your sort of uh, the thing that draws me to your music, and I think that separates you from a lot of the other, although. You're from a part of the world that's been making some of the best music in hip hop the last four years. I Me. mean, Florida has really set the tone musically. There's a lot of great guys for the last few years. There's a lot of talent there, but right. something that separates you, and I think it separated X to a certain degree too, Gee. is uh, melodies. Right. When I heard Patty Cake for the first time, that's when I realized that you really take to just melody making. Hey. Do you have any sort of particular process, or are you just the kind of guy who gets in the lab and and just goes? Man, you know, God, God, do that. That's why I made calling my spirits, cause I feel like, I feel like it be spirits in the booth when I be in there. You feel me? So, be. There's something about you, and I don't know what it is. I think it's the the the, the happiness, the 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 melodies, and the and the general craziness of your character yeah. that gives me an an a, a for me reminds me of old dirty bastard, which is a great compliment. Uh, I know I'm, we're a bit older. Unpredictability, so. you mean? But it's melodically, a mix of, and just the music kind of just voice. comes. Like, where does the music come from? You can't even quite tell. Right. But it's almost like you're just a conduit for yeah. music. Right. Are you familiar with Old Dirty's work at all, or no? I think Transporting was off uh, his beat. That song I got, Transporting. I think oh. that was a sample off that. Transport. But you never listened to him in the early Wu Tang. That's a little midget, ain't it? Nah, you talking about Bushwick Bill, bro? Not Old That's Dirty. That's a midget. Bassett. What 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 song he made? Uh. You talking about um, uh, Mines playing tricks on me? Yeah, this that. Year, that Halloween fell on the week. Ain't he ODB? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. ODB's with the Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang. Oh, you know that's. How old are you again, Cody? Twenty one. Yeah, it's okay. Old. You yeah. gotta learn about ODB, man. You, 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 know, no, you, you would enjoy it. You would enjoy it. If you if you do a deep dive on ODB, I really think you'd enjoy it, and you'd understand what I mean. All right. You dig it. Yeah. So this is your first time going around doing interviews. How do you feel about it? You having fun? It's great. I like it. Yeah. You're having fun? What do you like the most about it? Just, just being out sure, that's it. Being free. Hey. But you know there's something potentially bad around the corner, so you're enjoying it as much as you can. Yeah. Suck a baby dick. That's it. <laughs> hey. a, uh, wait, suck a child's penis? Yeah, like a baby dick. Give a fuck. Just like, don't. Whatever. Like, you feel me? Whatever happens. I'm, I'm blessed. Like, I, I be locked up. My stuff go platinum. Right. I drop an album in there. Like, I'm, I'm an innovator. I orchestrate, yo, put these songs together. You feel me? And my, you know, go platinum. Mm -hmm. like, that's great. Like, you can't stop greatness. Everything fall in place. I don't be worried about Talk nothing. close to the mic for me, so I don't be worried about nothing. They think. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when I first heard you rapping, I didn't understand what you were saying. It was like, um, it's like how you talk. My twang. I really went in and started reading your lyrics because it was, uh, what was the song? You don't believe me, Gene. Yeah, jeans piece. But I thought it was dope. I thought it was dope, the song, because it was like you were talking about how you couldn't believe in people and they believed in, in, in things that were, or they said they believed in things that were actually fake and they were just contradicting themselves. I thought it was a dope-ass record. Some people probably just listen to it and listen to the words and stuff because I, like, I be noticing, like, like, the song that I really drop, it really be for the streets. It be deep, right? But, like, them type of songs don't hit the radio. Like, y'all ain't from the... Play that like no, something is not for mainstream consumption. I want to play blah, 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 bullshit, right? That's yeah, a fact. That's, yeah, that's what y'all. We play. agree with you. So I kind of made. I really ain't like really like ruling a piece, kind of, but. Mm. Well, you thought it was like simple. You thought it was like uh, too basic. I kind of made it like with the new wave, like yeah, all that yeah stuff. Oh, but right, I was right, right. still kind of like really talking about like. You so you like getting to these raps though? You like really yeah. getting to these raps? Yeah. Yeah. So you like getting to these raps. You think you get credit for your bars? For the fact that you can actually spit? They gonna gravitate to it. They gonna gravitate they gonna gravitate. I don't know when, but they gonna gravitate. They gonna gravitate. How did uh even though it's not your favorite record, how did the record with X come together and how 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 uh, how how tight was your relationship? I really was gonna throw it in the trash and stuff, because like I have so much music and stuff. 
But O, O was like, uh, send it to um, X. He was like, he finna send it to X, so he sent it to him, and bro did it. I was like, you think this should make my album? Because I had so much song. They were like, yo. So, um, and you were actually knew each other it. before that collaboration? Nah, we ain't knew each other. Like, he from, a, he from where I'm from, but he from, like, a whole other little section. Got it. And stuff. And how long had you guys been on each other's radar for for a while? <sighs> okay, that year, that year before I came home, I would listen to a song on the radio. Look at me, look, look at me. Yeah. I'm like, this shit right, you feel me? And uh, when I came home, they were like, yeah, he rock with me and stuff like that. Oh yeah, because when Look at Me blew up, you were gone, and then you came yeah. back. Yeah. And it was it was still it was such a smash. Yeah. Yeah, that record took over. Really, really big. Um, what is a ZZ? Pull, I printed out your lyrics, so I know what... Uh, I pull up in a demon on guard. I know what that is, but what's a ZZ? I ain't want to call it Z shit, because, like, I wanted to be, like, more radio-friendly and stuff. Like, I ain't want when you download it on iTunes and it's called Z shit, because right, right, probably right. don't want your kid. Like, Z shit, no, nah, don't download that. Man, so, my kid's probably not listening to this anyway, but... <laughs> yeah, so so I called it ZZ, you feel Make me? Make it easier. But what yeah. is Z shit, though? What is that? Z. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a Z. Zombie on Earth. Zo. Got it. Um, ah, okay. got it, got it, got, got it. it. So, got it, got it. Did you see uh, Jay-Z released a, a, a track list of all his favorite songs of 2018, and that was part of it? That's real. That was one of it. Did you yeah. see that? I ain't see it. It's kind of tight. You uh, you met Ho before? Yeah, I met him at uh, Diddy Party. Great guy. Did y'all talk at all, or just a quick hello? We chopped it up real quick. Yeah. Yo, how many hits you have? Tunnel Vision... Let's see, Lockjaw with French, you on that joint. Now you got ZZ. These are main, these are mainstream records. Patty Cake was pretty big. Yeah. Patty Cake was bigger than those? No, not bigger than those, but it was it, it did its thing though. And this uh project that you have coming up. Yeah. Uh, what's the title of it? Dying to Live. Dying to Live. Yeah. Um, what's the collaborations on there? Who you got? Of course, uh Offset and uh Travis Scott for ZZ. Yeah. I got um Lil Pump, let's get gnarly. And uh Mosh Pit Juice World. That's it. Mm. And yeah, the rest it. is just you with the bars telling your stories. Yeah. You often reference how the world is against you and you feel like the world is against you. Um, is that how you still feel? The world don't favor the vultures. You know what I'm talking about? So so lately I just been like most serene. Cause I wanna like fly like an eagle mm -hmm. and stuff. But uh shit, y'all that. You know? Yeah, the people on the bottom, the world doesn't favor. Yeah, the world don't favor the vultures. Yeah. Stuff. They don't favor. I don't really believe in karma, but I feel like the world don't, it, it, it don't favor us. It don't favor us, so I got to stop like living and thugging so hard so the world can soften up yeah. around me. That's interesting. You're even taking responsibility for your own energy you're putting out, which is dope. What, what brought you to that realization? Just, you know, I know like... Like uh, like a good fruit, like a like a good tree ain't gonna produce no bad fruit. Like and the bad tree ain't gonna produce no good fruit. So, yeah. Just that. What made Maybe. you? But you said something that's interesting because you said you don't really believe in karma. Yeah. But then you, I don't want to believe in karma. Ah, because then you followed it up by saying, but you want to put out better energy to get. So it seems yeah. like you're struggling with karma. I don't want to believe in karma because I cause. I just don't want to believe in karma. I don't want to believe that. You want to be defiant. That's what it is. I don't, I don't want to feel like that. So you, so that's in, that's interesting. That you feel that way, but because you don't want to think that the stuff that has happened in the past would come back. Yeah, I don't want to feel like what I did gonna come back. But at the same time, if you do believe in it, it does mean that moving forward, the energy that you put out could bring back positive energy. Sort of. So it's kind of like it's kind of like contradicting, but at yeah. the same time, I don't want to believe in karma. We all we are we are all walking contradictions. So yeah, yeah, be comfortable me. in that space. Yeah, you gotta also know the universe doesn't give second chances, man. Hopefully, this time you are gonna have a better outcome, and you know, don't fight the universe either. You're super successful, but can you talk about the new artist that that you've signed? Tutu, Tutu, Golden Animal, Jet West, yeah. And how, what's your relationship with him? How do you know him? I rock with him. I feel like, you know, we speak the same language. Like, he's one of me. He just from different areas. And how did you connect with him? How did you discover his music? Like I say, like, I felt like he's one of me. So, you know, everything fall in place. 
Look, man, at this point, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Um, you know, looking at all your your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to, you know, everybody involved in that case, you know, we can't get into details today. Um, but, you know, we take sexual assault here serious. And we can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that because, you know, this is a serious topic. And we're hearing these stories a lot. Um, one thing we were talking about on the show today that for some reason I just have a hunch that you would care about is the idea that landing on the moon was a conspiracy. Kodak, do you believe that our moon landing in 1969 actually took place? What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you seem upset that I brought it up. I feel like <clears throat> sometimes when niggas like we going through shit, like y'all be entertained by bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So like change the subject or I'm finna walk out. We'll change which subject? Just whatever. Like well, no, they the tried to change the subject. They was talking about the moon landing. That's bullshit too. So uh -huh. talk about something else. Well, I was saying I, I think well, we I don't th have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right, I'm gone. Say less. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, I don't know. I don't, people don't tell me what to talk about on my show. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>